Hey there, I'm Sean from ARRI, and this is video number three, looking at the ARRI reference tool, focusing on the look room. The look room is all about look management. You can create your own looks right inside of art, or you can use the ARRI look library as a base. You can also import custom 3D LUTs and convert them to ARRI look files for use in our cameras on set. Let's get started. On the left hand side of the look room, we have our project files. In the middle of the look room is the viewing area. Here you can see the clip or sequence that's currently selected in the project files section on the left. In addition to the timeline toolbar functions from the view room, there is also a color grading panel down below for controlling your look. And then on the right hand side, you'll find the look library and the my looks section. To make it easy to switch between the most common color spaces for post-production, you'll find the buttons for Log C and Video Color Spaces in the toolbar at the top. Click on the buttons to toggle between the most common color spaces. Art automatically knows if you've selected a Log C4 file or a Log C3 file and will present you with the correct color space transform options. ARRI RAW files from original Alexa cameras that use the Log C3 curve can be processed into Log C4 files too, which will give you the benefits of the new reveal color science. The color grading panel is at the bottom of the look room. You can adjust the values for slope, offset, power, and saturation. With the master slider, you can change the red, green, and blue values simultaneously, which mainly influences the brightness of the image. If you want to change the color, use the color wheel control, or in case you already know the CDL values you need, you can input these in the text boxes. You can also adjust these values by holding your mouse over the number and using the scroll wheel. When you're manipulating any of the color wheels in the look panel, you can hold the shift key to accelerate the drag speed. Remember, any changes you make in the view room are only part of the color processing metadata of your project. You can reset the settings by clicking on the reset settings over here at any time. Slope, offset and power have an influence on the image in different ways. While a higher offset value lifts darker areas, a change of the power values influences the values in between the highest and the lowest value of the possible value range. With the slope control, you mainly influence the highlights to, for instance, make them a bit brighter or give them a warmer or cooler look. The look library gives you a preview of looks that you can apply to your footage. Depending on the selected clip in the project files, the look library will offer you log C3 or log C4 files automatically. Applying a look to a clip is easy. Select a clip, make sure you've activated the look button in the viewing toolbar, and then click on the look in the look library. After you've applied the look, you can adjust the look intensity in the color grading panel. Next to the look library is the tab My Looks. Here you can open and apply your custom looks that you might have on your computer. To find the look files faster, you can set a default home directory for the file system. Go to the main menu of art and open Preferences. In the browser and display tab, you can choose a new home directory for the look library. To save a custom look that you've created for your ARRI camera, click on the button Export Look File in the Viewing Area toolbar which has an icon for a swatch book. The dialog for exporting a look file will open. Choose a file name and an output directory. If you save your new look in the Home directory, the look file will then appear in the My Looks tab. To export a 3D LUT, use the button next to it with the cube icon. Choose the number of mesh points that you require, decide if you want to include the CDL parameters, choose a file name, and then an output directory. If you'd like to reset the customized look you've been working on to the embedded look file in the clip, there's a button up the top next to the look button with an undo arrow. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut L. Clicking on the look button in the toolbar will toggle between your customized look and the look that was embedded in the clip during recording. If the button is blue, then the customized look is activated, and if it's white, then the embedded look is activated. 
You can also load a prepared 3D LUT file from your computer into Art and apply it to the currently selected clip. In the colour grading panel, switch from CDL view to 3D LUT view. Select the 3D LUT that you'd like to import, select the source and the target colour space, and then the 3D LUT will automatically be applied to the currently selected clip in the Project Files viewer. Alright, that brings us to the end. The next video is the last in the series and it's about the render room. If you have any questions at all, please chuck them in the comments section down below or you can send us an email at digitalworkflow.ari.de. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.